Hello, friends, and welcome back to my live stream. How is everyone doing? Happy Friday. So I am really excited. Love a good hair accessory because it really is a great way to amp up your look. Um, hi, um, even if you have um, a very basic outfit on, adding a cute hair accessory is a great way to instantly amp up your look. And I have so many great deals today. So I'm so excited to share all the great deals that I have today. A reminder that you do get 15% off if you shop during the live and all the items I'm sharing today are super affordable. So let us get started. Hello, everyone that just joined. I've just got a huge rush of people in. Um, I love seeing that. I'm going to be sharing hair accessories today. And without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys some of my favorite accessories. So the first um, item that I'm going to share, and I just shared it with you guys on the screen. I just want to make sure, yes, you guys can see it on the screen. So the first item I'm sharing is from a brand that I just discovered on um, their shop. It's called Chimmy. I was not aware of this brand before, but I am totally loving their hair accessories. Um, hi, Jordan. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Josie. Um, and it is these clips that I am wearing here today. Um, I'm actually going to take them off so you guys can see them better. So it is a set of two, and they are these super cute Daisy Bobby pen clips. Um, and first of all, I love that they come with a set of two, and I really like that they're green and yellow. I thought that was really cute and unexpected. I feel like normally when you see daisies, um, they're yellow because normally daisies are yellow. So I thought this was a really fun twist on sort of the traditional Daisy Bobby pen clip. Um, these currently are a great deal. They are $10, $10.20 10 today with the live stream. And I'm going to now show you guys a few ways to wear this. First, I'm going to brush my hair so that it's nice and smooth. Um, give it a good brush. And, you know, I'm not... I don't like to go too crazy with my hair or my makeup. So everything I show you guys today is going to be honestly really easy and simple. Um, just really sort of easy ways to wear the hair accessories. I'm not into like too many steps or anything like that. Um, so the first way I like to wear these hair clips is honestly just like in the front of my hair. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do like a little twisting action. So as you can see. Do a little twisting action. And you can do this on either side of your hair. Um, I like to do it on the side that has less hair because it kind of creates like a pulled back look. And basically, I just put that in. See? It holds. I really like this clip because it holds really nicely. It's very, like, tight. Um, it has a good grip to it. Like You know how, like, sometimes bobby pins don't have a good grip? and that drives me crazy. This one has a really good grip to it, which I really like. And then I'm just gonna slide in this one as well. And yeah, this is one way that I would wear this. This is how I wore this um, when I joined the live stream. And it just like makes, it just adds a little bit something. It's really great if you have a side part. For those of you that have a side part, this is a really great way to just spice up your hairstyle a little bit. I like to let my side part still be on this side and then kind of do this on this side, um, kind of pulls back a little bit of hair on the one side of your face. And I think it just adds a cute little pop of color. So that's one way that you guys could wear this. Um, another way that I would wear these clips is you could actually also tuck your hair completely back
fashion is my jam. So when it comes to these beauty things, because I think hair is considered part of beauty, right? Um, I'm not an expert, so I'm just kind of showing you guys what I would do because I do love hair accessories and I wear a lot of hair accessories, but it is nowhere like, wait, see, I messed up here. Hold on. But it's no, I wouldn't exactly call this a tutorial because again, I am not a beauty vlogger, but it's always fun to just show you guys some ways that I would wear it. Um, actually, I'm gonna pull this out a little. So if you have like a long side bang, you, I could just, just pull it out a little bit, kind of like that 90s vibe. And then let's see if I can do this properly. Just put that in there. Um, okay, so these are a little uneven because I didn't do it properly, but you guys can kind of get the sense. I honestly, to be honest, I normally have to do this a few times. Um, it has nothing to do with the clips. It's just my skill level. I'm pretty basic when it comes to hair. So this is another way that you guys can wear. I think this is super cute. I like that it's mismatched. Um, I don't know. I think it just makes it like more cool, more like millennial. It makes it very Gen Z. You know what I'm saying? Um, for those of you that are Gen Z, that are watching, you guys know what I mean. I'm a millennial, so I'm not a Gen Z, but I'm always trying to get on to, to those Gen Z trends because I'm really into TikTok. And this gives me a very 90s vibe, especially if you do pull out like a strand of hair. I feel like that is like the defining 90s. And just like, I would just like pull, like don't make it so perfect, you know, like pull out some strands of hair, kind of let it like go out like this. And yeah, and the great thing about this one is that it pulls hair away from your face. Well, minus the fact that you have this. But like if you wanted to show off a cute pair of earrings like I have on today, this is a great way to do that because it does sort of pull this back so that you could also see your cute earrings. And that is another way to style these clips is to go with matching earrings. So today I went with these green earrings and they really sort of match the clips and this really frames my face like as you can see um it instantly sort of adds framing to my face by slicking these two hair clips back and yeah i think this is super cute super 90s so much fun um it's 10 20 today for both of these clips you can wear them over and over again there's so many ways to wear them i'm actually going to show you guys Another way to wear them a little bit later on um, because I'm going to use another hair accessory and then add these on. So be sure to stick, stay tuned for that as well. Um, if you guys have any questions about these clips, now is the time to ask. Otherwise, I will move on to the next product. But you can always go back to this product and any products I share today. If you tap the little four squares, um, you'll be able to see all the products I share today and have access to all of the products at the sale price up until 30 minutes after the live stream. So if you're not sure right now, it's okay. Stick around for my whole stream. How would you style this? Okay, so I just showed... One way that I would style these clips is I would, you know, slick them back here like this, as you can see, right? Do one on each side, even though they're different. Um, and then I'm going to show a little, another style in a little bit using another hair accessory and these. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on to the next accessory. One second. Okay, so... Let's talk about scrunchies. Another throwback. Is scrunchies like from the 80s or 90s? I feel like I wore scrunchies like when I was in um, middle school. I feel like, um, and clearly guys, I have a Daisy obsession because, okay, so this is also from Chimmy, the same brand as the hair clips. And I just thought the print on this was so, so cute. It has this Daisy checked print. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was so fun for spring and
So lately, I have been really loving like high, high buns. And let me see if I can do this. As I said, I am not an expert at hair. So no, normally this takes me a few tries. So just bear with me because, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not that good at this stuff. But I do really enjoy playing around with hair accessories um, because my hair right now is just dark. It's not colored or anything and it's straight. It's naturally straight. So if I wake up and I just feel like, you know, my hair is really boring, adding hair accessories is just like a really fun way to amp on my look. And also it's great for lazy hair days. The one I'm about to show you right now is great for lazy hair days. Also great for second and third hair days. I only wash my hair um, three, about three times a week, but I work out five times a week. So this is a great way to um, put your hair up when your hair is maybe not so clean. Maybe it's on the third day after the third workout. So, so we have the scrunchie, but first, because this is like not, you know, I wouldn't use this to secure your hair unless you're planning on like not moving around. Um, it is kind of slippery. So first just, you know, put any rubber band, any sort of regular um, hair band that you have and do this. Um, and then, and then add on the scrunchie. See, and basically I just do it like that. You know, this one is like a smaller scrunchie. So you, I, I, I don't even, sometimes you could also do a double loop here, I just did a double loop. It depends on how tight you want it. Um, you could do a single or a double loop, to be honest. I sometimes like the single loop because it, like, shows the scrunchie more. And then just kind of, like, tuck. Just, like, tucking in some loose ends here. Yeah, so this is one way that I would wear this because it just instantly, like, puts my hair up. See, I didn't do it high enough. Normally, I would do it, like, even higher. Um, but this is like one way that I would wear this just like put your hair up really effortless and easy great for like those summer days when it's like super hot outside. Like I said, really great for casual looks. Um, but it just adds like a little something, you know, like it looks so much better with the scrunchie than if it was with just with like a regular hair tie, you know what I mean? So this is one way I would do it. And then if you want to go like really crazy, right, you could even you could add on these bobby pins that I shared just previously. Um, and honestly, I like to add them to the back. Um, hold on. I did not think this through because I don't feel like you guys can see the back of my hair. Hold on. Okay, now you can see. Um, so yeah, I would just like add it on the bottom. Like, oh, oh my God, I just fell out of my chair. Okay, one second guys. Definitely did not think through the back. Um, I would just add it like on the back like this. Can you guys see? Can you please comment if you can see the back? I've never done a back view. Um, someone says so nice. Okay, good. Yeah, so you can just add it on the bottom here. And it kind of helps like hold your hair in as well. So this is another way that you could do two hair accessories in your look. I'm going to turn myself around. Um, yeah, so I really like that as well. This scrunchie with the live stream deal is $8.50. I think it's a great deal. I've been wearing it a lot. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys one more way to wear the scrunchie, which is a little bit more like retro style. All right, so let me take my hair down. Okay, so this other way of wearing scrunchies, um, and you could do this with all scrunchies, not just this one. Kind of reminds me of like being in middle school again. Like it's definitely kind of like embracing like my inner kid. Um, so basically just take like some hair on the top of your head, not too much. Um, don't take it where it's like, like this is like, don't take this part. Like I still like to leave like my hair down here and then, but just this part, right? Just take like the top part of your hair, but make sure to still leave hair to cover your ears. Cause I feel like that's like, the real vibe of this look. Um, this, this, this hairstyle kind of reminds me of um, the Olsen twins for some reason when they were in that show. 
um oh my god what show was it where they were like like that family show well i'm like blanking on the name so same thing take a regular hairband first and really do it at the top of your head see like i'm really doing it like at the top of my head so it's like super like standing up you want it to stand up okay so this give it a nice mm. you see this is that's so satisfying i love doing that i love giving it like a nice mm. so as you can see this is like at the top of my head right like do i look a little ridiculous yes but do i also look like a lot of fun yes okay but now this is when the scrunchie comes into play add on z scrunchie yes this is a vibe this is such a vibe and the nice thing about these organza scrunchies is that they're big enough to cover up the hair tie which is great give it another nice oomph. i love how it's like layered and yeah this is honestly i love wearing it like this with the scrunchie it just feels so 90s i get to whip my hair around i just think it's like so much fun it's so much fun and it's so playful you know what i mean like it's not taking fashion too seriously which i love i'm all about not taking fashion too seriously um and i just think that this is like so fun and playful which i really like it just brings out like my inner kid um yeah and this is another way that you could wear the scrunchie and then Aside from this one, I'm actually also going to share with you guys another one by the same brand. If you don't like daisies, which, you know, <sighs> to each their own. So this one that I just put on the screen, um, also by Chimmy, same style. It just doesn't have the daisies. So it's just a pure checkered version. Um, so if you prefer that, if this one feels like maybe too girly for you, they also have the one that's just checkered organza, um, also for $8.50 during the live stream. So if you guys have any questions about the scrunchie, please let me know. Otherwise, I am going to move on to the third um, hair accessory, okay? All right, let's take this out. Take this out. All righty, okay, so the third thing I'm gonna share, unfortunately, the exact um, piece is sold out, but I'm going to um, put up a similar piece by the same brand. So let's talk about the claw. Guys, the hair claw has been everywhere, okay? I refused to get on the trend. I was like, I can't. Like, this was like me in high school. But honestly, like, after seeing it on Instagram and stuff, I was like, you know what? It's really cute. And when I saw this one from Chimmy, again, this exact one is sold out. I First of all, I loved the rounded shape. I also love the color, right? This is like a watermelon color. And it just reminded me of summer. Um, the one I'm including on the screen is very similar in terms of like, it. it's not this shape, but it has the same vibe in terms of the size. It's a little bit shorter than the, your usual claw. And I thought that color was really fun as well. So that's the one I'm including. But this is the claw. And honestly, like, this is just great for, like, when you're just, like, on the go. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you just, like, when you just, like, can't be bothered. You know, like, you're just, like, you know what? I just need to put my hair. I just need to do something with my hair. But, like, I'm too lazy to do anything too extensive. I basically just like to take the pieces like this and then pretty much just claw it in the back. Um, I'm going to attempt to show you guys again the back um, yeah so this is like what it looks like um i just love how colorful it is i feel like it looks really great against dark hair um especially this color because it's a lighter color and just like add some like fun and feminine flair to your hair so this is just how i would wear it honestly i wore it like this the other day and i thought it was super super cute i need to find a better way of turning around I don't know if like maybe the camera can turn I know right Jordan it is so good like I love this clip um it holds really well I did wear it out one night and you know it didn't get loose or anything which I really like I just think it's so much fun and I like that it's smaller you know what I mean um you can also depending on the length of your hair so my hair is like you know a little bit past it's like a little past my shoulders depending on the length of your hair i think it can also hold up like all your hair like if you did want to do um 
all of your hair up. I think this also does the trick. Yeah, it does. So yeah, so wait, hold on. So yeah, as you guys can see, um, it does hold up all your hair as well, depending on the length of your hair. Um, I also don't have a lot of hair, so I will call that out. So this is a very sort of Monica Geller situation. This just gives me Monica Geller vibes, this hairstyle. Um, so yeah, so it is enough to hold up all your hair as well, which is great because it is a shorter clip than the usual giant ones. I don't love the giant ones. I feel like the little ones are like more feminine and fun. So this, um, not this exact one, but the one on screen is 1020 today. Um, during the live stream deal, really great quality for the price. Again, this has not broken or anything. It does hold my hair. It doesn't slip. Um, I would highly recommend if you are looking for something fun and colorful to add to your hair that is super, super easy, okay? So the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys, um, also sadly is, hold on, I gotta grab it. Um, okay, is a hat. Um, again, this specific hat unfortunately is sold out because like all the stuff I pick, guys, like everyone likes them, you know, I have good taste. <laughs> um, but I have included a similar one from the same brand. Um, and I'm sharing a sun hat because it's summertime and everyone needs a good sun hat, a good straw hat. That sun is strong, guys. Sometimes sunscreen is just not enough, especially if you're going to the beach um, or if you're going like, you know, out for the entire day um, or you just want to be cute, you know, and feel super summery. So um, this is the, this scallop hat I think is gorgeous. It is from Lack of Color. So this brand is definitely more of an investment brand in terms of hats. Um, when I first saw the brand and I saw their prices, I was like, oh my God, like why are these hats so expensive? But they really are crafted. It's like fine craftsmanship. The shape is beautiful. As you can see, this one is just gorgeous and the material and quality is also really great this is a hat that will last you a long time it's not going to be flimsy um and i linked um a similar one here on screen great deal today it's 109 instead of 129 with the live stream deal unfortunately the scale of one is sold out but um you can add it to your watch list so I did also include it in the collections. If you go to the four little squares, if you really want this specific one, add it to your watch list. Um, you can click notify me and their shop will email you if it does come back into stock. So I'm going to put this one on and the one I'm sharing um, on screen also has the tie. So you can kind of think about sort of styling it similarly. So this is the hat on. It is so cute it's definitely a statement um the scallop thing is like i think probably the coolest part i think i'm gonna actually wear it like um so you can wear it like this right or you could go more like this it just depends on the vibe that you want to go for and then this um so the great thing about the tie is that you can pretty much customize that to how you want it to be hold on problem with the ties it always gets my hair always gets in the tie. Um, so if you want like a more cutesy look, right? More of like a Madeline. Because the ones with the tie always remind me of Madeline. Hold on. My hair is like not cooperating right now. Okay, there we go. So if you want more of like a cutesy Madeline look, I would tie it right under. Wow, my hair hates me today. Um, I would tie it right under your chin. Like tie it tight. Not tight where like you can't breathe, but like. Tie it right under and then make it like a bowl. So, hold on. Do like a cute little bow. Okay, so this is very cutesy. Like very like, oh my God, like, hi, I just rode up on my bicycle and I just got back from my cottage, you know, and I'm out picking strawberries in the field. Like it's very sort of cutesy Madeline. So this is one way to tie it um the again the hat i'm sharing on screen is also also has a tie so you could style it similarly so this is one way this is so adorable you guys oh the scallop is just so good i just can't can't get over it okay but if you want 
if you're not as girly and you're like, oh my God, that is way too cutesy. Like I would never leave the house looking like that. Um, and you want it to be more of a relaxed boho look. And this is how they sort of tie it on the website. Um, you can just do it loose, like just do it like this. So let it kind of like hang, you know, kind of just like let it hang on, on the bottom a little. Um, definitely don't do the bow, just sort of do this. Um, and just kind of let, actually, you know what? I don't even think you should knot it. Just do like this. Hold on. Just simply do it like this. So this is very sort of casual. Like, I'm so cool. Like, I'm boho. You know, I'm a free spirit. I'm just, you know, running through the fields. So this is another way um, that you could wear. Um, next week, okay, Cameron. So next week is actually really exciting because next week I'm talking about mixing colors and prints. So I'm going to be sharing pieces that mix prints. Um, and I'm really excited about that because I love prints. I love colors. I'm a maximalist. So definitely be sure to tune in next week. I have some great pieces coming my way for next week. Um, so yeah, so you could just do it like this. This is like more casual. Um, you could also shift it down, right, and do it like this. This kind of makes it look a little more like high fashion. You know what I mean? I think like... Putting it down definitely makes it look more high fashion versus like this is more like cutesy, you know. Who Like who knew there were so many ways to wear a hat, right, guys? Um, so kind of you could do it like that. So that's another way. And then I've also just seen it on the website like just like this. Like just let it hang loose, you know. Like you don't care. Like the strap is just there. It's there. You're owning it. Whatever. But like it's just there. It's chilling. Um, this is fun too. You know, this is very sort of like bohemian kind of like an unfinished look um not my favorite way to do it but depends on what you want and then the great thing about the strap guys the best part about the strap is that it allows you to carry the hat around your neck and i love this look as well especially for photos like you know like when you see those like instagram pictures of like someone looking at the flower field and they have this like hat on their back um that is because their hat comes with a tie so the great thing about this tie is that you could tie it around your neck and it's so cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. Um, Like from your back. Okay, so yeah, so that's the great thing about the tie is that you could just have it hang around your neck when you're not wearing it or depending on the look that you want. This is just like a great accessory. Um, Definitely very summery vibe and it just kind of like adds, um, especially this is great if, if you want to wear sunglasses. Um, because sometimes I don't like wearing sunglasses and a hat. It just feels like too much. Like I'm not a celebrity, you know what I mean? Even though, you know, I think I should be. But this is great if you want to also do sunglasses, but still wear the hat around your neck. Also, just, you know, for, for carrying purposes, you don't have to carry it in your hand, which is really convenient. So that is this hat. Um, unfortunately, as I said, this one is sold out, but the one I shared is very similar. It doesn't have the scallop, um, but it's a great brand. It's a great investment piece. Um, highly recommend a straw hat if you don't have one. It doesn't have to be this brand, um, but I definitely, you know, I love a good wide brim straw hat. It's so great for summer and it provides so much great coverage as well from the sun. So that is all of the hair accessories that I have for you guys today. I shared four different accessories and now my hair is like, ah, what's going on? Cause I just like did so much with it. Um, if you guys have any questions on any of the pieces I shared, please let me know. Um, now's a great time to ask any questions that you have. You can always go back to the four little squares if you wanna see everything that I shared. And as I mentioned, the 15% off does stay until 30 minutes after the stream. Um, I'm just trying to see. Okay, I did share everything with you guys. So yeah, so we have the hat. We have the fun organza scrunchy daisy checkered. We have the really cute daisy green clips, which I think are so much fun. Such a great way to add a pop of color. And then we have the claw, the watermelon, beautiful, colorful claw by Chimmy. That is all I have for you guys today in terms of hair accessories. Um, I really do love a good hair accessory. As much as I, you know, like my hair like this, I always like more is more. Um, I always like adding 
more stuff to my face and my hair um, and also coordinating it with my jewelry. I think it's so much fun. So that's all I have for you guys today. As I mentioned, next week is going to be about mixing prints and patterns. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of printed pieces as well as tips on how to mix prints because that is a question that I do get a lot um, on my Instagram and TikTok is how do you mix prints? So next week I'm going to be sharing a lot of those pieces and I'm so excited because I absolutely love, love prints. I'm a full maximalist. I love prints and colors and I can't wait to share that with you guys next week. Thank you guys for tuning in. Next week will be at the same time at 5.30 Pacific time, 8.30 Eastern time. Um, if you guys do have questions later on, you can feel free to DM me on Instagram. It's the same handle as my Vera Shop handle. It's Mary Yashang Gui. Um, also the same on TikTok as well. So if you end up getting anything or trying any of the hair accessories, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to see you guys next week. I hope you guys... Have a great Friday evening and a great weekend. And yeah, I'm going to end this show now. All right. Bye, guys.